looks like a record. And it, everyone wants that here. I think that everyone wants to put a trophy on their mantles to say, oh, remember yes. that time I was the combo break the champ. Speaking of champions, right. there's two great competitors on this stage right now. East Sam and MBD, uh, brothers and team. They, they, they're teammates, of course. We saw them win doubles. And now one of them is going to have to go home fourth place. Yeah, and it's so unfortunate to see. But, you know, just with the wonkiness and the diversity that this bracket has brought, you know, unfortunately, it was just going to have to come down to this here. Like you talked about, both these guys playing for some medals right here. I know that it's not all about the money with these guys. You know, money fades, but these trophies that you can win from these wonderful events are going to last forever and for lifetimes to come here. But MVD right now really struggling. Not looking at contention here for any sort of medals the way ESAM has been playing. These two always play back and forth, though. Like, the uh, battle between these two is always super competitive, but right now ESAM definitely getting the upper hand. That forward smash just has so much reach. We caught the monkey in the air. Okay, gets the drag down for it here. Boom, a few up airs right into the nair. Not stopping the on assault, the aerial assault at that. Looking to catch him with that pivot back air. That was uh, really sneaky with the multi-hit move. That would have caught MVD maybe out of his jump, knocking him at a really unfortunate angle. But now MVD's got that stage control. He's standing in the center of battlefield with that banana. Gonna try to start an assault on this platform. Okay. Slowing it down. Yeah, definitely cooling his jets here. MVD really struggling to find an entry point. Finds a way in and East Sam just always being able to scout out uh, MVD's landing options so well. You know, in the beginning of the match, we'd see him kind of monkey flip right onto these platforms, but now MVD a little bit more reluctant to do that, kind of going towards the center of the stage, but East Sam always there with open arms. Oh, okay, got a quick game of hot potato. Takes banana pill right from him. We've seen Diddy struggle to ledge trap East Sam. That's kind of been a theme of this tournament whenever he's fighting against the monkey because he just has so many great ledge get up options that can go in strange angles. Be really tricky about his movement. Yes, sir. And I don't expect to see MVD switch off of Diddy Kong throughout the majority of the set. He knows that his buddy, his best bud, his brother almost, if you will, knows how to slay bayonetas for a living. He's going to stay Diddy Kong here to be safe, but it's just not looking too good for him right now. Looking at max style rage here after one more percent, there it is. I really expect him to find an opening here and toss it around a little bit better. He's just being a bully to this monkey right now. That Nair should not do it. Never underestimate how far those platforms are, but the second one definitely finds its mark. Yes, sir. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, in a quick two-stock, or no, not a two-stock. Oh, an almost two-stock, though. But a quick match here nonetheless. That match sped along very carefully. I, I, like the, uh, I like the home and away jerseys. That's right. That's right. No, not the biggest fan of eSports attire, but I got to give it to e, uh, MVD's jersey. Excuse me. I like how that red kind of contrasts the, the black and white there. That's sick. Panda Global has some sick merch. Yeah, they do. Some of the best definitely in Smash Bros. for sure. Like if, e, if East Ham MVD can convince, you know, PG to kind of go mainstream, the Panda Global, mm. and then Panda by designer, <laughs> you know, they need a theme song. Maybe a CEO, they get top eight, that could be their theme song. That, that's a thought and a half. <laughs> Let's get back into the game here. Town and City, we got Esam chasing on this platform really relentlessly, not allowing that banana to be of any use here for MVD, but now the scramble comes in the monkey's favor. Gets a quick little two-piece combo. Yes. We're gonna throw the banana, but the chase down continues from Esam. Yeah, man, he just is always on his heel. There's not really too many ways that he can try to outmaneuver Esam. And if Esam wants to alleviate the pressure, he'll go for the Thunder Joe. But I guess MVD finds a way in that time. Capitalizes early on, and I'm talking not even a minute into this match, and he is just doing what he does best, man. Yeah, winning these trades, scrapping out really well with the forward air, getting his little bit of combos in, and Town and City advantage Diddy Kong so far. That's right. Taking these platforms away from the Esam, trying to show him that he could play a little bit better than him. I like that. A lot of times on Town and City, you'll see the platforms kind of go all the way out, and that gives the opponent like this sense of, this false sense of security, excuse me, that they are A-OK -okay to land. Esam trying to position himself with that forward smash to get MVD way off of the stage. Now Pikachu with this stock deficit is going to maybe struggle to find some kind of kill confirm or some kind of stray hit. Even there, he gets the sour spot of the dash attack. Looks to intercept a monkey flip with a very violent thunder. But now here comes monkey right back. Down smash, good damage. And now going to cross up with the banana. I love this item play. Oh, almost. Close, but no cigar this time. Gets to drag down forward here. Oh, the forward smash. MVD answering. Back. Like I said, these two go tit for tat. 
One will win a very dominant game. The other will adapt right back. And Town and City just so good for Diddy Kong. You see that forward smash. You can trap someone in the corner with it. You get those two hits off. That would have killed even earlier, I think, onto, onto this Pikachu. Yeah, I've seen it. He's kind of mouth the words. I like that. I like that. I like what you did there. That was good. They're always building each other up. But well, unfortunately, they're building each other up to knock each other down, though. I mean, right. they're friends to the end. The bitter end in this case. Yes. Boom. Smash fills the choice. MVD again drawing blood first. He's feeling himself. You know, Wiseman once told me if a Diddy Kong starts throwing Nair around, that's a sign of a comfortable Diddy. That's one of those moves that's so good on Diddy Kong, but he has so many other good moves that you just kind of forget about it sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's like, wait a minute, I can set up out of this. Yeah, actually, I can set up out of just about anything. Character's good. Yeah. Gotta be imaginative. Pikachu as good as well, man. Has Pikachu. a lot of strong tools. Quite good at fighting Diddy Kong. That's also true, yeah. The way the tools line up exactly in this matchup, you can go and really pressure those recoveries. You saw a very tense situation where MVD almost got hit out of his barrels, but great recovery on both sides. Now, I think why we don't see more Pikachus is because as good as this character is, he requires a lot. He requires a lot of positioning. He requires a lot of patience because he's not the most heavy-hitting character in the game. You know, he certainly chisels away at the opponent until he gets that kill he was looking for. There's a forward smash right from across the stage. Pikachu doesn't have too many of those just stray hits that can kill. Like, forward smash is probably his best one because it's kind of safe on shield, even kind of safe on whiff, too. But even then, Pikachu is light. It's, again, a character where you kind of play on the razor's edge. Oh, yeah. You know, he plays to the opponent's weakness in every sense. You know, he wants to... If he has faster buttons than you, he's going to smother some of the slower characters. If you're bad off stage, he's good at picking you apart out there. That's okay. kind of why he's that off meta pick, because of the difficulty, because of the, the lightweightness. But you can see how effective it can be, and Esam has been each yard every single season, I believe. That's right. Yes, maybe not as high as how he would like to be, but if you're on the PGR, nonetheless, I think that that's, you know, a, a good testament to how good you are as a player. Especially from the beginning here. Same can be said for MVD. Both of these two guys have been placing what an event since Smash 4 said go. Okay. Oh, now that was smart. On turn around with the back air instead. I don't think that the, the up smash would have confirmed. Otherwise, MVD would have gone for that option. Mm -hmm. So, very wise. But unfortunately, from the opposite side of Smashville, not going to get the KO. And yeah. you can't tech that. It was a techable, but he just couldn't tech it in time. Yeah, I think and he kind of took him by surprise. That's why Pikachu's so quick. Wow. My quick attack puts him in that just great position. You think you're safe. You don't even think about pressing the shield button in time. And Esam clutches that, which is beautiful offstage play as we've come to know him. They kind of look like, they look like they just met and they just like, they don't want to say hi, but they both know that they play Smash, so they want to engage in conversation, but they can't. Like, it's that's like those the way people at Smash tournaments who you can only talk to them about Smash. Uh-oh. Oh, and that was again, almost a zero to death. Esam, you got to chill. Yeah, he and most certainly does, almost, but not quite. MVD with the quick fingers. Oh, but then catches the monkey flip. Beautiful pivot grab. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, you're not getting too much love here on this left and right side of the stage. You got to make sure you're going to go for some of those combos. Your towards center stage, you're going to give MVD a free pass. And MVD will certainly take all of those. Finally pulling this banana here, but Esam trying to intercept it. Trying to go for some really tricky offstage shenanigans. Unfortunately, not going to fall for it here is MVD, and he's got center stage now. Esam's got to find his way in. Quick attack looks like it's going to be the option, and then just wait in the shield. A good cross up with the roll. Going to try to chase again. Got the banana in hand. Look at these combos go. Jeez, and they're just not stopping again. Once more, another forward air. Okay, yeah, a little bit too aggressive on shield Ooh. there. And then Esam always reading the offstage options. There's the down special. Coming Jesus. in here with the banana confirming the jabs. Let's see how that damage adds up there from the jab. Okay. Goes for the banana toss. I know that you can sometimes get a few combos off of that as well. Depending on how it lands, you can sneak in a back air if your opponent's not ready for it. Or maybe even an up, up air. But nonetheless, so Esam certainly with this lead, and he's holding on to it here for dear life. Okay. Lands on that top platform. We're starting to see a shift in play style. Maybe a little adaptation here. Understands that he has the lead, and... He probably feel like if he can stay above MVD and force MVD to come to him, he might be able to close this match out. But Esam playing super well in that cornered position. MVD tried to put the banana in between him and the forward smash to make it even safer. Throw out that risky option, but okay, that down tilt up smash will work even on the higher ceiling here in Battlefield. That's right. We got a game still. Yes, sir. Can't quite call it yet. Okay, catches the down tilt. 
quick power shield right to the back throw. He's off stage. Where are you monkin' flipping? Esam is all over it. Stuffing these high recoveries, but that forward air not gonna buy as much space as MVD wants. With that trade you wanna go for. Ooh. Sheesh. Okay. Watch out. Oh, okay, I like that. One of the coolest jets. He could have easily went for another back air, but I think he was a little worried about it whiffing. If it whiffs, Esam will be able to answer back real quick. MVD running away from these platforms, trying to buy a little space, get that banana established. He can maybe set up an early kill option here with a little bit more percent. That down to a forward smash, even though we're on battlefield, will eventually be very violent. Oh, absolutely. And okay. max rage online here for the monkey. Don't forget. No, absolutely not. You know, and, and despite you know what the percentage might speak, he's still playing very well right now. Dancing around Esam, not allowing him to go for any of his patented setups. Esam very much aware of what Esam could go for here at this point. You thought you were safe to pull the banana, but Esam says no. Shuts the door, moves on to Losers Finals. Losers Finals. Now we know what this match is going to bring here, Lord Storm. We got events to compete. Tyre getting ready to sit down onto the main stage. We've seen what Esam has done. He ran the Bayo Gauntlet at EGLX. He's slayed many Bayos. I mean, I remember when that video he released had first came out, and the whole world was like, how good are you versus Bayonetta? UGC 2016, he played against Captain Zack. He said, let me show 